it's another day's journey and I'm so glad about it so glad to see a new dawn in this morning oh he kept us all night long safe from all harm or danger and woke us up this morning and started us on our way Lord we thank you now oh God we thank you because there's power wonder working power in the blood of the lamb we thank you right now God hallelujah it could have been another way but you kept us Lord yes Lord you protected us you covered us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Oh God, yes, Lord. We thank you now. We thank you, what a mighty God we serve. What a powerful God. What a loving God. We thank him today for everything he's done for us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He sent his ministering angels. Oh, God, to minister to our souls. To minister to our needs. And we praise him now. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, send me Bible in this place today. Send a shake up in the atmosphere. Oh, God, revive our souls and our spirits, our minds, oh, God. Keep us, oh, God, steadfast. And unmovable, always abounding in the work of you, Lord. Help us now to hold on to our faith, to walk by faith and not by sight, oh God. Yes, Lord, we thank you now. We praise you now. We glorify you. We exalt your name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Make preaching easy on today. Oh God, make preaching easy. Yes, Lord, make preaching easy. To demons fear triple. Oh God, to healing take place. Salvation take place. Deliverance breakthroughs take place. In this sanctuary, in this atmosphere, yes, Lord, sing us a call of glory. Touch hearts, touch minds, and touch bodies. We thank you now, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray today. Everybody that steps through that door, let them feel a worship experience like never before. Yes, Lord. As the atmosphere is already charged with your presence. As the atmosphere is already covered with the Shekinah of glory. We thank you. We love you, Lord. With all our heart, soul, and mind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. Good morning, Miracles of Faith. I will be reading scripture from John chapter 19, verse 30. When he received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. I've read John chapter 19, verse 30, and the word is blessed. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and bless God in this place. Glory to Jesus. We thank God for being here. And we thank God that you have joined us as we come to bless God today. You are so welcome here to praise God with the Miracles of Faith family where our pastor is Superintendent Pastor Kelsey D. Little Senior. So come on everybody, open up your mouth wide. Bless God as we bless him in this building. You know 
are you blessed today? Come on, let's decree it. Come on. Everybody say bless, 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 This and poverty machines Well the devil is defeated We are blessed Everybody say I'm I'm blessed, blessed. You're, You're blessed. blessed Say everybody's blessed Everybody's blessed say, Everybody's blessed Everybody's Everybody blessed. say I'm I'm blessed, blessed. You're, You're blessed. blessed Say everybody's blessed Everybody's blessed We're blessed, we're blessed.
God, I'll say it again, see if I got some help. God, we thank you in advance for your power, your joy, your peace, your deliverance, your breath. God, we just praise you in advance. See, in church, Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Turn to three people and say, don't nothing else matter right now. the church of somebody don't lie now because you got to show them better you can tell them. say nothing else matters right now Woo! is that true yeah. nothing else matters right now but right now and right now I'm here and I'm ready willing and able to give him all my praise yeah. Watch this. I'll see if you catch this. Catch this for me, fellas. Don't miss it. I'll see if you catch this. I got to preach, but we got to praise. Was that a good one? I, I got 
gotta preach theirs, but we gotta praise. Hit that thing, hit that thing, hit that thing. Don't miss the point, hit that thing. I said one more time, see, we all on one accord. I gotta preach, but turn to somebody and say, we gotta praise. So watch this, I'll make a deal with you. How about we do it all at the same time? How about I preach and you praise at the same time? Is that all right? I'm preaching fast today, so you better catch it. First Samuel, 22nd chapter, first through the fifth verse. <coughs> we certainly give honor to God, his son Jesus and the Holy Spirit, for without them we are nothing. Pray for your pastor, this piling got me coughing. <laughs> Change of weather does it to me every time. But I believe that I'm going to preach through the cough. Amen. Same way you preaching through some struggles and some situations that you got. I'm already preaching. Let's stay high the whole time, fellas. Let's stay high and let's hit it and quit it. Hit it. Come and hit it and quit it. Like, like James Brown said, come and hit it and quit it. Yeah, whoop, stick and move. Stick and move. Pop, pop. <laughs> Certainly get out of the God and Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Without them, we are nothing. Is that your testimony too? Without them, you are nothing. We give honor to a lady we like to call the heartbeat and the rose of miracles of faith. One of the pillars of this church. Come on. Uh, District missionary Judy E. Little, we love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Why you clapping? Turn about four or five people and say, I'm clapping for you. I'm happy to see you. There's nothing you can do about it. We give honor to our executive board, the ministerial staff, Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. Certainly thank God for praise team, the band, the uh, media ministry, la da da everybody. Sister Karen, the greeters, everybody, 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 everybody. All right. First Samuel, 22nd chapter, the first through the fifth verse. Let's go ahead and read. I may skip the third verse. I'll see how I feel when I get there. All right. David, therefore, departed this and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren... And all his father's house heard it. They went down hither to him. Isn't it strange how they named a cave? (laughs) Don't your problems got some uh, names too? (laughs) I just gave you first point of the day. (laughs) But but you know why? You know why? Watch this. Watch this. There's you. You know why? You know why God uh, gives the problems names sometimes? So you can so you can call it out before it's over. <laughs> Cause life and death is in the power of your tongue. Uh-huh. So so sometimes you got to call it out. See see and and, and 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 then it lets the devil know you're not ignorant to his devices. You 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 feel that spirit of depression coming on you, so you call that spirit of depression out. You got to call it out. Ooh, I'll, keep, I'll tell you about that tomorrow. And, and, and everyone, uh-huh. <laughs> y'all, I want y'all to catch this. <laughs> and, and everyone yeah. that was in distress, uh-huh. <laughs> and everyone that was in debt, yeah. <laughs> and everyone that was discontented, yeah. <sighs> fellas, help me out this time. I'm, I'm gonna preach. I'm gonna preach the text so we can preach fast. Is that all right? Because uh, I don't think I don't think you caught that. Words are powerful. Uh, go go to the next scripture. Go to the second verse. Uh, and everyone, everyone, and everyone that was in distress. Come on, let's preach, fellas. And everyone uh, that was in debt. Uh, that, 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 and, and everyone that was discontented uh, gathered themselves unto him uh, and he became a captain over them uh, and they were with him about 400 men Ooh. Ooh. Skip, skip the third go to the four I gotta hurry up and he brought them before the king I'm not reading where he's from because it don't matter. Are you catching what I'm throwing to you, Miracles of Faith? And he brought them before the king. Uh, uh, Because I don't care 
if it's the boss of your job, <laughs> that person ain't the king of your life. <laughs> You serve the Lord God Almighty. That's your king. So I don't care about the king of Moab. I don't care about the king of uh, I don't care about the king of Israel. I care about the king of kings and the Lord of Lords. That's the same king you should care about. And he brought them before the king. And they dwelt with him all the while that David was in the hole. And the prophet God said unto David, Abide not in the hole. Depart and get into the land of I thought I had a living church let's say it again <laughs> David abide not in the hole depart and get thee into the land of <laughs> then David departed and came unto the forest of here if we had to take a topic it's all about you. Let's hit it and quit it the whole time, fellas. <laughs> Look at somebody and say, take your facts to the truth. <laughs> say it again. Say, take, come on, fellas. Say, take your facts to the truth. <laughs> Let's say high praise. Say, take your facts to the truth. <laughs> Is there anybody <laughs> that you got some facts in your life? <laughs> you might call yourself Tootie. Y'all sit down. Buckle your seatbelts. Because we're getting ready to go for a ride. I hope you're ready. Because we're going to speed. Y'all ready? We gonna, you ready, Lodge? We're going to speed the whole time. All right? Matter of fact, when we get going, fellas, don't even chop it up. Just hold it and chop it. If they ain't ready, we're just going to leave them. We're going we gonna to leave them. That all right? Y'all ready? Yeah. Watch this. Can I preach to you? Yes, you can. Let me preach to you right quick. Uh, I ain't gonna take. I ain't gonna take long. Uh, in this story, Saul was chasing after David, uh, like he was there when David got promised and was anointed to be the king. He wasn't there, <laughs> but but he had something against David, and he was going after David with all his might. And he wasn't going after David to have a talk with him, a conversation with him. He was going after David to kill him. He had bad intentions. Oh, let's stop. Pause right there, Trina. <laughs> Some of you need to understand you got an adversary. <laughs> and he ain't trying to be your boom coon cut a rug. <laughs> he ain't trying to be your buddy or your bosom pal. But he's trying to kill you. <laughs> but before he kills you, <laughs> he wants to steal from you. <laughs> then he wants to kill you. <laughs> but killing ain't good enough. <laughs> he wants to destroy you. <laughs> That's why you need to stop acting like <laughs> everything is just fine in your life. <laughs> when you stop praying uh, he's praying hold on you can rest assured the devil's always praying his ain't got an A though he has got an E you like that he's praying which means he's always coming after you what you think Job was the only one in the story of Job, that he was he was seeking, he was he's looking to see who he can go after. He, are y'all catching what I'm throwing? I got to hurry up. He's looking. He said, "I'm going to and fro, seeking and looking to see who I can get my claws into." I need y'all to catch this one real good. I need the praises to talk to me. I ain't ask you if you was a living church because I ain't got time to worry about that today. I just got to preach to you and you got to come on along with me. But watch this. It said he's seeking. What does that mean? At the time that Jesus found him, he hadn't found his victim yet. Why? Because he looked over here. He said, no, Trina got her prayer life right here. He looked over there. He said, child. Is, he got a connection with me. He looked over there and said, Will is in his work. He said, he said I can't find them. I got to find a good candidate. Can I tell you something? Huh? Don't let him find you huh? without your prayer life. Huh? Don't let him find you huh? without your connection. Huh? Don't let him find you huh? doing God knows what. Huh? Because he's sick. 
looking. He's praying. He's looking for somebody to get. But when he finds you, let him find you with your hands up. When he finds you, let him find you with the anointing in your life, in your heart. Y'all not gonna kill me. I'm gonna give you this word. You said, they looked at us. They said, Larry, y'all doing a good job. <laughs> Amen. But, but let me help you to understand something. Uh, 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 so Saul was doing all that, coming after David. David is the only person in the Bible that God said is a man after my own heart. He says, a man after my own heart. Uh, my own heart. Uh, so watch this right there. Watch, watch this. Watch, watch this. I need you to catch this. I need you to catch this the whole time. Fellas, watch this. Uh, so you know what that means? Just because you're anointed and just because you love God and just because you have a connection with him does not disqualify you from the trial. <laughs> That does not that does not put you in a select category, KJ Will. That does not put you in a select category called don't mess with. Because he's seeking who he can devour. He sees you praying, he sees you, he sees you in your book. That just makes him hesitant. Because he's he, he he's gonna try to mess with you. And, 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 and the more you, 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 you get a connection with God, the more he's going to come after you. That's why, but at the same time, because you are anointed, you are appointed and assigned by God, and God's got his hand on your life, and there's an anointing and a power that rests in a greater that, that rests on the inside of you. What you also have to keep in mind is that it, it, the situations are going to come, but you can't get so focused on the situation. Thank you, fellas. I said, you can't get so focused on the situation. You can't get so focused on the misery that you lose the opportunity for ministry. You can't get so you can't get so caught up in crying that you miss the opportunity to cry out to God. You can't get so you can't get so caught up in worrying that you miss the opportunity to worship. No, 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 no. Don't miss it. Because, can I tell you something? In the midst of your life, William, in the midst of what you're going through, in the midst of what it seems like, Henrietta, I need you to keep this in mind at all times, Darius. And I need to know if I got 10 praises that are yell with me if you know this is right. You got to keep in mind no matter what it feels like, no matter what it seems like, God made you a promise. See, in the midst of David being anointed to be the king and becoming the king, he went through more hell after he was anointed to be the king than he did before he was anointed. The anointing carries weight and it carries a trial with it. It carries tribulation with it because that is called a process. And the process develops you. The process helps you. The process teaches you. So when you get to the land, so when you get to the place uh, that God has you at, uh, you won't mess up what God has designed to happen. So when David was going through the hell after the anointing to be the king, when he was going through his cave experience after the anointing to be the king, what kept him was the promise. You're going through your process, but turn to somebody and say, don't forget your promise. Can I tell you something, fellas? Hit this for a minute after I say this, and we'll see if somebody will praise them after. Only 15 seconds later, y'all just hold it out and hit it for a minute after I say this, right? Watch this. Watch this. Your promise, you're holding on to your promise, right? But can I, can I help you to understand something? Your promise is going to bring something greater than you could ever 
Come on, fellas. I said your promise is going to bring something greater than you ever could imagine. Talk, talk, you, do you know how I know why? Let's preach for a minute. The lot come up here with y'all. Do you know why? Your promise is going to bring something. Because it would beckon the fact that God let you go through all of that for nothing. David had a crowd waiting for him on the other side of the hell he was going through. Can I tell 10 praises that can give God some praise? You got deliverance waiting for you on the other side of this promise. You got healing waiting for you on the other side of this pain. You got happiness waiting for you on the other side of this sadness you got a promise that's going to bring a blessing you got a promise that's going to bring an anointing you got a promise that's going to bring lift your hands and say the greater but more importantly can I excite you right quick I know I got like five praises in here. <laughs> you ain't gonna die. You, you can't die, Ethan, while you in the process because of the promise that was. Y'all catching what I'm trying to tell you? <laughs> you, you can't die. You, Cause if you die, he's a liar. <laughs> He made you the promise uh, to be fulfilled in your life. He made you the promise uh, to be fulfilled in your life. So you can't die in this, Mike. Stop your crying. Stop your worrying, lady. You can't die. And not only can you not die, but you can't go down. Because you got a promise attached to your life. A promise attached to your life. Let the your hands and say, I got a promise. Just keep remembering what God promised you. And, and then, see, then what you got to do is you got to take your facts to the truth. You got to take, you got to take them there. You, cause see, here's what the facts are. The facts are what I see. The truth is what God promised. Come on here, y'all. So, a lot of times what I see, because the devil has a job, don't match up with what he promised me. So I just got to kindly take that fact over. David had a situation with a whole lot of facts. The fact is, we preach it now, come on fellows. I said the fact is, I'm in a cave. The fact is, I'm all alone. The fact is, I feel like God left me. The fact is, people are trying to kill me. But, but, the truth is God told David you're the king so forget the fact that you're in a cage the king just took you higher forget the fact that you're all alone the loudness just took you higher forget the fact that people are trying to lie on you and kill you it just took you higher you're going high. Lift your hands up and say, yeah. Can I tell you? You got some facts. But I'm going to take up to the truth today. Is there anybody in this house? The fact is, you ain't got a lot of money. The 
Let's change that. Because this one should be everybody. You don't have enough money. Now we're ready to preach. Let's preach again. The fact. Thank you, fellows. I said the fact is you don't have enough money. But is there anybody in this house that your truth is God shall supply all my needs. The fact is I got enemies all around me. But the truth is no weapon fine against me shall prosper. The fact is my family turn their backs on me. But the truth is with my mother and with my father forsake me. He ain't just there but he's there to lift me up lift your hands up and say lift me up I got some facts but I got a truth sickness in my body sickness in my body I should sit this in my body. That's a fact. But the truth is, you know the truth. I said the truth is. Get up. God said, get up. God said He's taking you up. Get up slowly, though. Get up slowly. No, no, don't help him. Don't help him. Sit back down. I ain't asked you to help him. See, that's the problem. People do too much. Let God do his thing. God told me to tell you, get up, but get up slowly. Because he said the problem is you've been getting up too fast. When you get up too fast, you miss some things that he got for you. But he said in this season, don't rush. Hit the points. In this season, don't rush. Take your time and get everything that God has for you. <laughs> because you like Jamarin do. Jamarin love to cook. But she understands she take her time and she'll read a cookbook quick. Watch this, Jamarin. You're going to like this. Some, some folk need to stop experimenting because that's taking too long. Just read the book. You'll catch it tomorrow. You'll catch it tomorrow. <laughs> You're doing everything you know how and don't know how to do. Y'all missed the whole point. You're doing everything you don't know how to do. But if you just read the book, what you got to do is you in a slow cooker season. I've been there before. I tried to rush a slow cooker season. And it made me look stupid. I'm giving you instruction. Take your time. Get out of the mindset that Sean got to do everything. The reason I turned my back to him and walked away is because I told him this before and the Holy Ghost keep on saying it. His wife ain't coming till he stopped trying to do everything. She coming. Y'all hear me? She coming. You know how I know she coming? Because mine's coming. <laughs> we got double date. She coming. You got slow cook. As the administrator, I talked to him enough. He'll tell you this. As of late, when you tell me stuff, I just take a breath and say, okay, and then I get off the phone fast. You know, you know why? Because I'm slow cooking. When you're slow cooking, you don't say the first thing that come out. 
when you slow cook you got to learn patience when you slow cook you got to understand I can't let this emotions rise up and control my mouth because my mouth is my power because life and death is in the power of my tongue I can't afford to let my emotions control my power I can't afford to let my past control my power I can't afford to let the situation control my power I got to utilize my power properly And you know what I do, Sean? I just take the facts to the truth. The fact is, such and such did such and such, Pastor. Okay. I'm going to call you back. Because I got to take the facts to the truth. Now, don't get it twisted. And some of y'all do this, too. Ooh. I... I be beating the mess out of air sometimes. <laughs> I beat the mess out of air. Y'all don't beat air? Monday morning when I got to go to work, every Monday morning I'm in the bed just beating air. Man. <laughs> you be boxing air, don't you? See, PZ Week, he be sparring with air. I just beat the air up, doc. Doc, it's real, doc, because you don't want to hit nobody, so just hit the air. Just hit the air. You, you, you gotta just hit that. But, but, but here's what I'm telling you. But I got to slow cook. So I won't say the wrong thing. Because cause even, watch this, watch this. Oh, I'm preaching, y'all. Better catch this. Even because Sean is the administrator, God showed me I still can't even say the wrong thing to him. Because not only are my words my power, but my position is my power too. So, you're going to have to talk less too. Because you're in slow cooking season. But everything you've been praying to God of late is meant to come to pass. But it can't come to pass unless you slow cook. Because the slow cooking is your process. I gotta tell y'all something. Don't take me there. Keep, 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 keep me here. Keep me here. Here we go. Uh, listen, listen. Let me tell y'all something. David was in a cave. He was in a cave. And why he was in a cave? We just read the verse. We just read it. He didn't. He didn't have the rich come in the cave. He didn't have the empowered come in the cave. The Bible tells you exactly in the second verse. Put that second verse up for me, Henrietta. It said, it said that he had, that was distressed. And this is the, this the part I was trying to help you to get. It said everyone that was distressed, everyone that was in debt. So look at the people that he had to help him build his church in the cave. But I'm going to say this. Can I preach? I'm preaching right now. Just hold it out, fellas, and let's ride. What I'm preaching to you is the reason why David was even in a cave is because God already knew that he was going to bring the distress. He was going to bring the death. He was going to bring the dying out. What David was because David could minister to them because he was there before he found him in a cave they found him on the throne they found him in a cave and that David could train them up so that David could work through their issues because God did it for him first God's taking you through uh, the slow cooking season. Uh, it's going to feel alone sometime. Anybody ever feel alone sometime? God takes you through that season where you feel alone, Rev, uh, because he's working on you uh, to work on them. Uh, God is working on you uh, to bless somebody else. Uh, God is working on you because uh, they are going to depend on you. Uh, you want a wife? Uh, you got to get right first. Uh, he got to make you uh, a husband. Husband. Hold on. I 
I got to go. God anoints us, right? But he anoints us and I need I need 20 people to scream and praise. Fellas, don't miss this point. He anoints us with issues. Just because you anointed don't mean your issues go bye-bye. You anointed with issues. But God does everything in order. See, watch this. Let me talk about myself. God showed me that this next season, she's coming because the past seasons, I couldn't have a wife because he needed to have more of my attention to be able to do what I did. I wouldn't have been able to be out here a lot and do this type of stuff if I had a wife at home because my wife, my first ministry. Amen, somebody. Amen. Let all the women say amen. They hear it. They, y- y'all should want them to hear you on live, on, on the video. All the women yell amen. Yeah. If you're married or not married, still yell amen. Yeah. Then at the same time, ooh, this is about to be tight. But I'm talking about myself. God showed me about a year ago. He said, How am I going to give you the wife when you don't properly know how to treat the girlfriend right yet? How he going to give you the husband when you don't know how to treat your boyfriend right? Fellas, y'all should have said something. They yelling. Y'all should say something, fellas. There you go, Rev. You see, that's that's how you stand up. You got to be anointed for the next season. It won't meant for you to marry Trina 15 years ago because you weren't ready for Trina. It won't even meant for you to marry Trina three years ago because you weren't ready yet. God was still slow cooking you. But it won't right for her to marry you three years ago because God was still slow cooking her too. See, like, oh, 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 let me let me hit this right quick. Then I got to go. <laughs> Just cause you saved and sanctified, don't mean everything got to go your way when you dealing with somebody else. Sometimes you got to understand we got to come down to a level to help them to get to the level that God has them at. You want them to listen to Shirley Caesar all the time? Well, they let you listen to the Marvin Gaye. Just work through it. They'll get to Shirley. know why? Let's go, fellas. That was good, man. That sounded real good. Came in right back where y'all just were. You know why? Uh, yeah, that's real good. Woo, that sounds good. You know why? <laughs> because what you're supposed to show them uh, is not your religion. Uh, you ain't supposed to show them uh, the church of God in Christ. You're supposed to show them God in Christ and not to bring them to the church. You're supposed to show them the Jesus in you. You're supposed to show them love. Let them see God in you and it'll change them. You come in with a list of demands. If you got to come in with a list of demands, maybe that ain't the one. You got to slow cook. And take the facts to the truth. Stay right there, man. Let's go back right there. That felt good to me. Take the facts to the truth. I said take the facts. Don't make it rhyme but hit it. Take the facts to the truth. What is the fact? The fact is you're not perfect. The fact is they're human. But my Bible tells me that he's the light. Come on, help me preach. The truth and the light. If you want something done right, take them to the truth. Jesus, pray for him, lift up their names before him, and watch God turn that situation around. If you believe me, say it. Stand up all over the building.
I preached this sermon. This is one of my favorite stories. So you're gonna you'll hear you'll hear a bunch of sermons about David in a cave. Because it's such a real thing. But I told y'all before, I remember that I preached it because mother loved this point. When he was in the cave, let's look at it from a church perspective. Let's just call it cave church. We can call it cave Baptist. Judy's in the house. You got to call it cave church of God in Christ. The scripture says the distress came. In debt came. Say everyone. I believe God can fill this house with people just like that. And, and, and watch this. It won't 40. By the time it was over, it was about 400 men. What am I saying? We can't look at people for what they're going through. We can't look at people based upon what they got on. We can't look at people based upon what religious organization they're in. I told somebody last week that was asking me something. I said, I said, I just believe to bring them to, I, I believe to have God in Christ before I bring them to the church of God in Christ. I'm not wrong, am I? Tell, you tell me I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong, am I? I believe if I bring him to God first in Christ he'll take care of the rest so I believe this church should be filled with those kind of people what y'all you know why I'm going to prove it to you I ain't perfect. Sometimes I fall in that category. And I got a little bit of debt. Not as much as I had before, but I got a little bit. What do you want me to lie? I ain't got no debt. I got some debt. I'm paying on stuff. Ain't you paying on stuff? That's debt. I got car payment. That's debt. Hello? You got your cell phone? That's some debt. Your, your iPhone ain't paid for. You paying on it every month. And the reason I can say that is because you know how we are as people? Even when we pay it off, we got to get the new one. We got to get the new one, Doc. <laughs> she said, she, she reminded me of that lady on that TikTok. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Devil is a liar. No, I don't. No, I don't. But the reason I believe that God can bring, fill this church up with people with distress, in debt, and discontented. It's because the God that I serve, I should never get in a content mode. Y'all ain't catching what I'm throwing to you. There should be something I should be striving for that he's put in my path to get. here you can't treat them like you perfect and they horrible they got a t-shirt on holy jeans holy sweatpants come on in here like the person with the three piece suit cause the Lord don't love you no more no less than he loves them am I talking right So when that happens, the fact is we can look at them and tell certain things. Only if you're looking through your spiritual eye. I need y'all catch this. Stop looking at people and making assumptions. Stop looking at people and making opinions. 
you never know you could somebody could come in here with holy everything and be an undercover boss that's why I love that show because the people that treated the undercover boss right and that did their job they get a blessing out of this world at the end of the show it pays the pe- to treat people right but the people that do stuff wrong they usually get fired and reprimanded because they ain't know they was talking to the CEO y'all better watch it you better watch it you better watch you never know who you entertain it that's why you got to look through your spiritual eye and take the facts to the truth on today we gonna say a prayer and we done so when you hear me say Mike thank you lift up your hands all over the sanctuary Father God in the name of Jesus God we thank you on today for these your people huh, that are getting delivered right in their seats oh I can't hear you that are getting blessed right in their seats huh, that are getting anointed right in their seats huh. God we thank you huh, for what you're doing huh, right where they stand at huh. every need huh, be supplied huh. every worry huh, take it off of their minds huh. in the name of Jesus huh, I come healing to take place I command deliverance to take place in the name of Jesus whatever you need in peace apply to you whatever you stand in in need in peace applied right now with your hands lifted up begin to open up your mouth and begin to praise him begin to thank him Begin to praise him. Begin to thank him. Begin to praise him. Begin to thank him right now. Because it is what it is. What are you saying, Pastor? You're here for a reason. You have to hear this prayer. You have to hear this word. And I'm declaring that it is what it is. You are blessed. You are delivered. You are brought out. It is answered from the crown of your head until the soul of your feet. In the name of Jesus. praying no more you need to praise him seal that thing with a praise <laughs> seal that thing with a praise seal that thing with a praise you cried about it not praise about it you worried about it not praise about it Somebody say it is so. Somebody say it is so. Somebody say it is so. Push it, keep on pushing, 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 keep on pushing. Yeah! Yeah! My, 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 my. Little, I saw a vision last night of you, <laughs> but, but I knew 
it was you because the Holy Ghost told me it was you. But all I could see was your hands lifted. Because the blessing was overtaking you so much, all I could see was your hands lifted. And your mouth. And I can hear you just telling them, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the black, I'm going to tell you again, I told you before. He told me last night, long life. Long life. He told me the hardest thing physically that you ever had to experience was the stroke you already had. He said for the rest of your life, you shall not experience any pain or disease like that. God said there's a blessing on you uh, that can bless others. Uh, he said if you walk around and just wave at them, the, when the wind hits you, that's your blessing, y'all. Uh, uh, just why? But you got to already be uh, in praise mode before she gets to you. Just wave at them when you feel the wind. Ah! I feel it up again. Hey, 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 hey. That's the win of your next deliverance. That's the win of your next help. My, 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 my. Yeah, you get an overdose of win. <laughs> That's another fresh wind. Another fresh wind. Another and another. Another fresh wind. Yee! Another fresh wind. Help my, 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 my. Another fresh wind. Fresh wind blow. My, 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 my. Fresh wind blow on you. Fresh wind blow on you. Yeah. Fresh wind, mother. My, 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 my. Fresh wind. You better receive it fresh. 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 Ah, fresh. You better praise it. Fresh wind. Fresh wind. Yes. I dare you to praise him and say it is so. I dare you to praise him and say it is so. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Woo! My, 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 my. Hey, my, 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 my. Listen to me. Today is April the 10th. Count of 
three. Can you give him a 30 second praise for 30 days? Are you catching what I'm throwing? I believe if you're given 30 seconds of praise, he'll do a miracle in 30 days. I, I, if you give him 30 seconds of showing up praise, I need at least three dancers. I got to have three dancers. If you give him 30 seconds of praise on the count of three, I believe he'll do it. And th thank you. I believe he'll do it in, in 30 days. If you believe it, say I believe. We'll cut on the lights. One, two, uh, one, two, three, count. Wait a minute. Miracles of faith. One of the reasons God has not packed the church out is because he's made us an exciting church. Stop coming bougie. That trial ain't being bougie when it's slapping you upside your head. You got to be the church that's radical. The man of God told you 30 seconds y'all standing there being cute. What you worried about somebody seeing you? On the count of three, let your praise go forth. Two, one, two, three, count. You got 15 seconds. Pray. You done did it over 30 seconds now, so you can expect the overflow. Mike. Y'all better get behind him. <laughs> healing for your body. What? My, my, my son. Huh? Healing for your heart. I said heal. Healing for your body. I cast the devil out of trying to mess with your body. True praises. I need true. When I pick him up, I need y'all to praise like you lost your mind. Everybody praise. Y'all don't understand. This man jumping, he couldn't even walk a minute ago because his knee was acting up. I need you to praise. Praise. Ow. Heal by the power. Heal by the power. Heal by the power of God. Karen, am I lying? His knee.
he was messing with it, won't it? But he jumping now. Woo! That's what God is doing for some of us. Sometimes he got to knock us down to pick us up. Let's get ready to give. You had to go back to Atlanta because your ministry is there and here. And he showed you when you went back. There's ways that you're needed. But he's going to make a way that you can do it both places. show you how to bring a big city mentality to a little town. Y'all trying to tell me God can't do that? Yes, sir. 